All right, we're back. Um, Hello. We have two institutions, which means two more characters have to work out why they're not allowed thing nice things, why they can't have nice things, and also who says that. <laughs> um, wow, cute. That's a, this is a very impressive, very fancy building. Yeah, yep, yep. Says a um, very fancy building. So, do Luke or Anya have feelings about their their oppression? I have some vague feelings, um, but I'm I'm still like sifting through a couple of concepts and a couple of like ways to approach a character. Mm -hmm. And so, um, like, uh, if, if like if want, Anya, if you have some thoughts, I'm happy to like then go after and like. I'm happy shape to my character like. To, like like Round change up nicely. the order of these things if you want to like find out more about your character to then come back to the marginalization no it's it's more like there's like a bunch of kinds of marginalization that i marginalize right. i could be and i haven't i'm not committed to like a particular bundle yeah them cool yet. um anya do you have feelings i'm kind of of course like... she does she's full of she's full of beautiful soft queer feelings <laughs> um <laughs> it's a hot punk stream now everyone yeah. Because I'm here. Yeah. Um, Good damn it, Luke. Like I was saying during the break, although I think you were gone, um, I'm like torn between playing, just like playing a trans woman um, and dealing with all of that, or um, uh, if I wasn't playing a trans woman, I'd probably play like um, a fab femme non binary person. Mm -hmm. um, and. So I just, I just don't know. I mean, They're both good choices. Oh, uh, like yeah, there's no wrong choices there. <laughs> yeah, the, the only thing right. I'm worried about with um, with playing a trans woman is like having to deal with that shit. So that's where, like, where it, yeah. So my question is, like, are there elements of that that you want to explore, and are elements that you don't? Um, for instance, like, I mean. This isn't going to come up because it makes me uncomfortable, but like there are slurs that that, that you yeah. might not want to like be in this game, um, yeah. or things like that. Are there like is it going to be cathartic and helpful and fun for you to like to punch engage that with that and then punch it in the face, or is it going to be too much to hit you to start with? I think it might. I think it might be too much. Actually, yeah. Cool. All right. So I think. I'm gonna go with the with the MB. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool. Um, Luke and Andrew, how are you feeling about me hitting some like non-binary content there? I mean, the the one thing that I am settled on is that my character is also gonna be non-binary, so I am I am on yeah. board. Cool. You can do nothing to anyone's character that I haven't already seen before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cool. That, that doesn't right. mean that we necessarily want to enter games, but... Yeah, cool. All right, as long no, as... Yeah, that's I'm... all good. I also should probably say I identify as non-binary as well. Yeah, okay, yeah, cool. Yeah. Um, and you're cute as hell. I mean... Because all non-binary people are cute as hell. And also, Facts like... from Luke. Also, I only get cute people on this stream, so... Like... It's for, for I've never not it's seen a the... not cute person on the stream. Exactly. That's very true. Yeah. yeah. It's one of the requirements. I got that wrong. There were too many negatives in that sentence, but... <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, yeah. Um, do you want to talk about a... You... So, here's the thing. Your, the institution that you put in doesn't necessarily... Um, uh, you, you don't actually need to make an institution that is specifically related to your own marginalization. Um... But that is, but they're keyed in together into the same part because often it's hard to come up with an institution that isn't yeah. in some way related to your own marginalization. Yeah, I have, I have an idea, although I'm a little worried that it's going to be too heavy. Um, but we considering what we've seen so far, um, I'm intrigued. I, I was thinking of like some quasi medical institution slash. Um, like essentially if if any of y'all know that history of what Planned Parenthood is um, like Planned Parenthood great now it was started as like a eugenics program um, to, to stop 
like poor black people from having kids um and so something along those lines of like an institution that restricts uh uterus having people's bodies cool sounds great would that be yeah. like a state health like a state mandated kind of uh health inspection that is very Plastic. It's a free public health clinic. Yeah, for right, the like, benefit and the health of non-citizens. Which is why right, it's so kind. maybe you know, if you want to get your basic health care, you're also exposing yourself to yeah. yeah. Like if, well, if you want any of these services, um, then you. I'm. I'm. It also it's <laughs> reminding me of all of those really awful laws that have been passed in a lot of U.S. Uh, jurisdictions around abo access to abortions mm -hmm. and like yeah. if you want an abortion you have to be exposed to all of this like awful traumatizing like bullshit like you know uh, propaganda yeah. yeah yeah but like i'm i'm struggling to decide on whether i want it to be like a like compulsory thing like compulsory thing where like if you do this you get access to something like you get access to healthcare through this but you have to submit yourself to this or if it's literally like you have like you know three month mandated yeah, like, stand, state mandated state yeah. mandated i th i think the most out. insidious forms of oppression are the ones that make the oppressed buy into them so yeah. if it's something where you're opting in or at least you feel like you're opting in or at least there's a veneer of it looking like you're opting in that that to me is more like destructive at the core than than yeah. just something where you're like no i'm not gonna go to my appointment so fuck you come after me yeah yeah first, that makes sense. right like like oh i don't want to be sick that would be nice it'd be nice and that it's it's coupled with stuff that you genu genuinely need yeah well. exactly yeah. you're forced to come and ask them for it right. i i have a name for it as i have a suggestion go right ahead uh and it's it's kind of awful um the houses of mercy See, I was gonna go with a mother's something because if it's if it's specifically, like, aimed at like people with uteruses and they just they they just feel like, like, that's mothers, right? Like, or yeah, like yeah. we have a really like rigid bullshit view of gender. Yeah, yeah like yeah. A mother's network or mother's circle or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, I think I definitely like the idea of having mothers in there. Um, yeah, making it gross and gendered. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. Well, there's nothing to keep those two ideas apart. You could you could certainly do Mothers of Mercy, which uh, Ooh. I mean I don't I don't know if that ah. has, it doesn't sound too much like uh, like a like a metal band, but uh, <laughs> it but it, it is you know this idea that we take care of women, yeah, and and, and uh, yeah, it is women per like is led by women in the society. Yeah, it's, yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. it's women yeah. supporting women. Right, yeah. it's, it's very it's handmade a place for, for, sort of. It's a place for my status women, like the wives of important citizens, mm -hmm. to then go and like, here's your little project to like keep you busy and stuff. Yeah. That that actually totally tracks with mm -hmm. how Planned Parenthood got started because Planned Parenthood was yeah, exactly. started by like white Southern women. Yep. yep. <laughs> yeah. There's all kinds of weird like gross moral policing and yeah although stuff for, for any of any of y'all in chat that might be feeling weird about Planned parenthood they're pretty great now yeah they're good now so uh, what are, what, what are we calling message. it this is a bad institution actually i mean this is i love it <laughs> it's great um kiddos do you have a feeling about like where the where the name lands um i like i think I think Mother of Mercy is good. Cool. And I like it in the sense that it's like, they're very clearly like, this isn't a right, this is charity. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And, that's, yep. and that's why it's, it's mercy. Because mercy uh, isn't something that's like, mm -hmm. that mercy isn't a right, it's something that's given. Yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> uh, so the move is like, gate healthcare behind something i mean i think i think the move is like restrict reproduction essentially yeah, yeah right restrict cool. yeah restrict reproduction in exchange for like healthcare 
I think. Or is it just restrict restricted. reproduction yeah, full stop? Because no, yeah. like that's. Yeah, I think I think you can say full stop because like yeah. it's yeah. clear that that's just a bait and switch kind of thing. Like, yeah. yeah. Oh. You know. Yeah. And well, yeah. What's the what's the pillar that holds this up? I. We've got two places currently. I think yeah, the Mothers yeah. of Mercy might be the pillar, honestly. The mothers themselves. Yeah. yeah. I mean... like, like it, Or it could be a particular mother if we want to... Yeah, right? Like, yeah, yeah, like the, the leader of the organization? Yeah, like, I think that's a really good S- idea. Sister Mary Annabelle or something. Yeah, something. Wh- whoever, whoever the state, like, puts up as the kind of Mother Teresa figure. Yeah. Do you... Um, and this is a question kind of about the game as well, Ash, like whether or not we should be shooting for like really high level, like the the president, the captain, the leader, or whether it's better to shoot for like very personal, like my personal like, social worker or my personal like it, a, like, is yeah, the game... my it is, it yeah, shouldn't your be, doctor, it right? shouldn't be personal, personal. It should, um, but the pillars don't need to be for the whole institution. They need to be about the move. That the that the that the specific um, so like Mothers of Mercy might have other moves, but this pillar is tied to this move, um, mm. so that if we remove that pillar, then that move, move is not is... going to be available to that right. institution, and they will need to act in other ways. Yeah. Cool. So, the, so like, it's not. So yeah, you don't want it to be like, or or it, it, it's good to like avoid. Like, you're not going to destroy the peacemakers by like fucking up the heroes field, but you will, you will. We'll stop them from doing that one specific from, from doing thing. that one particular yeah. thing. And if we stop them from doing enough of their shit, then we can topple the fucking yeah. peacemakers. Like, because if you take out each of those pillars, it doesn't matter who's at the top, right? Like, yeah. they, they they're gone. So that's that's the way that that that, that play is intended. Um, yeah, I mean it's literally if you take out enough of the pillars, the house comes crumbling down. Yeah, that's the yeah. that's the intention. So maybe a doctor. Um, yeah, that's, that was that was where my thinking was going as well. Like, like a person who like, like who, the head doctor. Yeah, like the person who is like who makes the decrees about like you know how much income should be required for people to like be able to support a baby and like how yeah. how much weight like what is a healthy weight weight range for people to like to like be have pregnant in yeah. yeah and all yeah. those sorts of things there's there's a there's a beautiful uh not beautiful a beautifully horrible part of the way like corporate america works as well where often you get promoted into like to the place where you're the worst for yeah so you might have had somebody who's a really good doctor and a really terrible policy maker like yeah. they might like they might like have actually got great skill with their knowledge but now they've been put in this position of making policy and they're just totally unequipped for it and like making really awful and harmful policy not not just out of ineptitude because they also buy into the the republic but like i think that that's another facet of that it's just yeah. the wrong people being in the in in the places that they are they're, they're doing that thing that the medical industry does where they apply their understanding of bodies in vastly overreaching and generalizing ways <laughs> right it's like the thing that's like the psych- psychology does as a discipline where they're like we read like we we did a study about straight white men and this one question we are going to assume that that's how all human brains work like yeah Yep. Yeah. I don't know these antidepressants. These, these the antidepressants fucking scientific these... paradigm. Right. Well, yeah. like, about the Republic, like the body and the whole, like the whole of the Republic needs to be healthy, and like making these metaphors about the Republic as it is a, as is a human yeah. body when they're just grossly like oversimplified. Or I I really like the idea that um, like in in Japan there is a very strong uh, like uh, discourse that relates the body politic of Japan to a, a, a literal body and blood is understood to circulate within it. Uh, and yeah, I really like the idea that there's yeah this like yeah the body of the republic must be held healthy and like probably like because like yeah there's some weight policing tied into this like question of like who gets to be a mother and who doesn't. It's like it's about like we don't want to like we can't bloat the body of the of the republic mm-hmm. right with like more. With unproductive like mass, right? Like, yeah. Ugh. yeah. Ugh. So, Kitas, do you um, do you have, like have an idea of who this doctor person is? Do they have a name? Do, do we know what their gender presentation is? 
I mean, if they're a doctor, they're obviously a man. Sure. If they're, if they're allowed to hold this place of knowledge, they are obviously yeah. a yeah. man. Yeah, and they're like, yeah. Um, and, and, like, it's that thing where, like, um, some women as part of Mothers of Mercy are, are allowed to sometimes waterbend, but, like, only under, like, certain circumstances or whatever. Yeah, they're taught um, only very specific applications. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah. Yeah, cool. Do we want to name this doctor? That, that would be the first person we name. True. And, which means that we have to come up with some... Yeah, do, we wanna, do we want to wait until after we name yeah. the characters let's, and let's, we let's have let's a call, naming let's, convention? Let's call then, them Policy yeah, Doctor. Policy Doctor. Doctor I just Policy. Think should, that, Doctor Policy is just their name. Cool. All right. Doctor, Doctor Gloria. Doctor Gloria Policy. No. <laughs> um. All right. This is this is getting really really nice and gross. Excellent. Um. I'm loving it. Luke, how how's how's your feels? <coughs> All right. Um. Okay. So my character is definitely non-binary. Uh. They are um queer. So they are attracted to people of all all different experiences on the gender spectrum. Uh, I think they're also though like this is not specifically called out in the game. I think this character is one hundred and ten percent like a a proto relationship anarchist, right? Like yeah, right. Yeah. Which again, which which That's in a lot of ways is is defying, defying yeah like norms of gender monogamy yeah. and like yeah heteronormative. Like mm -hmm. there's a lot of shit that they're defying by that as well. Yeah. Um, and I think they're also, um, like, uh, biracial. Mm -hmm. So, like, this they are the they are the pilot. they are the child of a a woman of the Republic, so a non citizen of the Republic, and a man from uh, a like an, another culture, not the culture that Sean's. The not uh, the yeah, yeah, not 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 the the same culture that Sean's character is from, but a different culture, and so like. At every level, they're just this weird blurring of all of these neat binaries that the Republic likes to insist, mm -hmm. like, exists. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. They have many intersections. Cool. Uh, yeah. Given given the the many ways in which they are um, not citizen, uh, yep. what do you want to do yeah, what's, for What specific one is bad? Um, um, I do want to ask that... Uh, Yep. because of how like important it is in the setting um, and it could be that like it, this is hidden from the characters but is uh, are they a fab or a map I don't know yet I, okay. I, I haven't decided I think I, I think I'm gonna leave it like as shrewding as a shrewding as puzzle box and I'm gonna yeah. come down somewhere yeah. uh, when the time comes. The, yeah, um, the, the, these questions are written in a very specific order in the PDF. Okay. So. Yeah. Um, and I think I think the pillar is uh, well, not the yeah. Starting at the the institution is like the institution is the Grand Academy. Okay. Which is the educational apparatus. Yep. Of uh, the of of the. Um, of the uh, Republic, and their move is like rigidly uphold uh, arbitrary binaries. Mm -hmm. Like the the ev like everything about the way that the thinking of the Republic is organized is all about like arbitrarily being like I'm gonna draw a line down the middle, and this line is absolute, and if you are in the middle of the line, ooh, you're bad. Yeah, we gotta push you on one side or another. Yeah, because they're, mean, they're, like, understanding the world through, like, and yeah. building models and taxonomies. Yeah, exactly. And of yeah. course, the largest binary here is citizen-non-citizen. -citizen. Yeah, exactly, right? Like, that's the, the greatest binary of them all. Right. Uh, and, like, the only one that's actually absolute. Yeah. yeah. Because it is one that the powers that be actually have the ability to enforce. Yeah. yeah. Um, right. right. It's perhaps the most arbitrary of them all, although they're all, I mean, yeah. all of them. And it's, are... and it's supreme arbitrariness is what lets them, like, 
make it absolute because they're just like, yes, no, we are, we are the ones controlling and policing this binary. And so, yep, and we control all the apparatuses that say which one you are. Yeah. And since that's such like a wide, I mean, since that's like such a vast umbrella of things that they would have their fingers in do you see them as like primarily like a legislative i mean it's it's a grand academy so it's educational but like in terms of how i mean an education how it functions affects society for sure but like how it's going to directly like poke how it's going to yeah directly like mold society do you see them as like lawmakers or as ju- or as no I, I see i see it as it's a it's a slower flow on effect from uh mm. from education like i think i think probably where it originates from is that there's this part of the revolutionary mythology of the republic is that one of the reasons that the uh the old world fell is because they were like um they they were like muddy in their thinking right like like yeah, they weren't right. they weren't like yeah. clear enough very, to lack, like purity and certainty so and like moral revolution. absolutism yeah. and also there's probably some like something about how uh like three three is a really inauspicious number right because back in the old day there were three there were it was not a binary but a trinary there were soldiers there were thinkers and there were other white cis men who weren't citizens yet and then there was the invisible category of everyone else and they're like no no the the binaries it's all about binaries (laughs) three is too many categories you gotta you gotta make it real simple well, part of what we've established about our republic is that they feel that they are the enlightened version. They exactly. Are the enlightened version of their predecessors. And one of the things that we talked about, and I'm, sh- I'm sure we could change this, but is that, is that their predecessors wanted to create these class and education distinctions. They said you had to be educated. And like we're saying, no, 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 we're open to everyone as long as you're straight. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah so, I, think, I think the argument of the Grand Academy is that, yeah, they had too many categories. They're like, no, no, all, two categories. All you need is two. Any more categories than that is like muddying the water I and it's starting it's to confuse things. One, right? Because they're the academy, it's just there are the citizens. Right? Like it's like it's just like what does it take to be a citizen? It's all of these things is to be a citizen, but it's not like I think I think Sean, their thinking is higher level because it's also like they're the ones who are like yeah, who, who are like, yeah, like there is the great binary of citizen and non citizen, but also there is the binary of foreigner and and yeah, like I think born the, in the I republic, think, there is yeah. the binary of man and woman. There is the yeah. binary of I think, like I think it's the thing of like yeah. citizen, you know, is like the disabled like... and like physically, like all of their thinking is just incredibly like reductive and simplistic, yeah. and like everything boils down to a simple binary. Yeah, I think the and thing is like, that it... like they 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 have all of these binaries, and then like just the union of all of the like of all of those binaries yeah. is citizenship, right? You have to tick yeah. all the binary boxes. Yeah, you've checked yeah. all 125 boxes. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I also think... like the idea that 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 like that that part of the that like the previous the previous like um, system was like corrupt or like viewed mm. as corrupt because they by and that their lack of like hard distinction was the cause of that like. You know, everyone has to pay taxes, except for these people, because we like yeah, them, yeah. and there's not, like, a clear distinction. Yeah. Only only the wealthy can be educated, unless you have, uh, you know, unless unless you have, like, social connections, and you, like, leverage yeah. those instead. You yeah. Know, right? And yeah, too like, many exceptions. Yeah. Hard and fast and so, makes the world work. Yeah, and I, th- I think, like, yeah, I think the pillar that holds up this move is, like... Is an as, as an ideology, mm-hmm. and it's like, yeah, this idea that like to thrive, like like uh, pure like purity and certainty are needed to thrive as a society. Right. That's going to be pretty tricky. That's going to be a hard one. Yeah, but yeah, that's maybe a bit, that's maybe a bit abstract. Uh, let me. What are our like? It's definitely doable, but happen. it's 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 setting yourself up. Yeah, uh, I'm, but... I'm making I'm making it difficult for us. Um. Uh, I think purity without exception, like there are no exceptions Ooh. to purity or something like that. Like, I mean, I, yeah, it's, it's, I like it's, that. It's a terribly difficult ideology to overthrow because everyone's going to have their own internalization of it. Yeah, it's really hard to root that out. But like, if we're talking yeah. about the except, you know, exceptionalism and and you know, re- denying anyone's right to be seen as who they are. Um, yeah. Oh, you know what? There's an, there's an artifact. Okay. Yeah. There's, a, there's an artifact. Um, 
I think the pa- the patron god of the Republic is a god that they right like a god that the previous society also had, who is like. I feel like he was like our Athena like analog, right? Like who is a god of like uh, like Athena Apollo, like civilization and order and learning mm-hmm. and you know architecture and all this stuff. Yep. And the object is uh, when the like pred- the original predecessor culture of the Republic was first like established, uh, they like prayed to this uh, god because of course it's a god to. Like they found a site that they th- they you know they found this new land and they prayed to their god to tell them like where to build their city, and uh, he came down and uh, you know like gathered them in this like natural quarry, and there was a, a great stone in the middle of it and half of this stone and there was like a fault line down the middle of the stone, because it was like a chunk that had broken off a mountain that had like igneous and sedimentary or whatever rock in it, and he clove it in half with his sword so that one half was like stone that was worth building with. And the other half was like basalt and should just be discarded and like the two ha- like that stone that the two halves of that stone is like a sacred object of yeah, the Republic right. that just yeah. like endures to teach us that like you know like it is necessary to make these clear distinctions so that we can work with what is like worthwhile and discard the rest yeah um can we do we call it the solid foundation i'm, I'm into it like that like it, it is the thing on which the city was built in in its own way, and like yeah, or like in it, it's it, it's a lesson about like don't use the thing that isn't solid as a foundation. It's like the the perfect half, I think, is what they call it. Cool, because that's because that's, that's very much what it is, and that's very yeah, much that's, the that's like, even unifying grosser, philosophy so, um, of the Republic. Like yeah, that's even grosser. So I'm into it. Yeah. Every uh, every object has a perfect half, and you need to make invent a binary so you can identify the bad half and just throw it away and not yeah. bother with it. Yeah, that's but, what a marriage is. A yay. marriage is a, is a perfect object with like a perfect half. Um, is uh, is the like the non perfect half still around? I think yes. Like to make the point. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. That, that, that part is almost more important, so you can always be like, shame. And yeah, exactly. That's exactly. What, you can always reflect on that as the evil thing or the corrupt. Yeah, I, I was kind of thinking, though, that maybe um, the, the, like... Negative space as, as is making point. Yeah, it's just, like, it's just like, here's the perfect, and there's nothing else. I am... Actually, I think that's... Yeah, I think that's even better. Yeah, there's, like, a metal sphere... Like a, a metal cage that is the like display yeah. piece, and only half of it is filled with this like perfectly smooth like block of just like the finest white marble. I like the idea that and then yeah, that, just emptiness on the I other. I like half. the idea that, that that they that they say and the other half like eroded and 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 like yeah, the, the other half didn't and, last this and, long, and that's why we didn't build with yeah, it, and that yeah. like justifies and, and bears out, which is totally not true, right? Like they just removed it. But, yeah, exactly. Like, like <laughs> but it's sitting somewhere. I mean, that's that's how we could destroy it, right? It's fine. It's like finding the, I mean, the yeah. other part. Yeah, we could. Yeah, we could either take the existing half or reunite it with. Yeah, like yeah. both of those are equally valid ways of disrupting this. Yeah. Um, I I kind of like the idea also that this is like just ingrained in the culture where like people have a lot of like salt shakers or something like that they're in the shape of the perfect mm. half and things like yeah. that like it's like an iconic it's just this iconic visual. thing you just see everywhere even like yeah. everyone knows where the big thing is but you don't have to go there to see it all the time it's just like yeah, you know, right? it's yeah. Probably a the, thing of the of the republic to have you know a circle with one half filled in sure yeah and like, half the half moon is yeah. like yeah, the, I was gonna the say, sacred yeah. time for all like religious yeah yep. artifacts and stuff yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i love it Cool. Look, right. I made it about mythology, and I wasn't even I'm, trying. Yeah, I mean, that's what happens when we get <laughs> so you on a show. If they were actually good at science, they would realize that the full moon is only half of the moon. <laughs> yep. Yep. Right. Yep. Um, oh, Gwen, Gwen, Gwen is on it. The 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 floor of the room it's kept in is like basalt gravel. Like yes. it's the ground up remnants of the imp- like you literally tread on the imperfect half on your way to see the yeah yeah that's, that's very awesome. good that's very good that's cool um so we've got all of our um our marginalizations and we have all of our institutions 
So now we can get back, like, we can, we can move characters. on with our characters. Um, yeah. And we can kind of get, because now we have a bit of a, a sense of understanding of, like, the world that they exist in. So the, the next thing the characters need is a calling. What do they believe and what are they going to do about it? Yep. And can is the calling something that all, all the characters share, or is it an individual? No, it's calling? individual. It's it's an individual um, uh, trigger for. It's an XP trigger. I think I know what mine is. Or rather, momentum trigger. Yeah. Um, do you Which want to talk is... to What's yours, Luke? Yeah. So I think mine is um, like healing and comfort for all, with no judgment. Mm, cool. Like my character is a proponent of like is 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 going to be like a healer and a proponent of the idea of universal health, like universal health care. Yeah, yeah. And I really hate the fucking mothers of mercy. I like oh, I got a real, I got a real bone to pick with them. Yeah, cool. And yeah, like um, what am I going to do about it? I'm going to like, you know, like provide care. Yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm going to like resist the like mandated restrictions on who can provide health care and I'm just gonna fucking do it anyway and go fuck yourselves. Nice. That's that's me. Cool. I think we described that 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 that, that perhaps there were some women within the Mother's Mercy that are allowed to, to do water bending healing magics under very like careful scrutiny yeah. and like in, in the predicted yeah. ways and in the perhaps... same way that I think that like there are probably people in there are probably people in the peacemakers who are not citizens who are allowed like very specific forms of fire bending. Actually, you know, no. You know what? You know what? You know what? My the the specific action I'm going to take because I feel like I'm going to I need to sharpen that a little. I'm going to teach healing as widely as I can. Nice, cool. I'm going to teach everyone to heal, and like that's not going to get you in trouble. So it's forbidden. Good. I don't care. I don't yeah. care. Cool. You're going to drive us straight teach into healing like, to anyone who right. asks. And Ash is, I'm curious, is, is the idea with the second clause that, like, if you accomplish that thing, then Burning Wheel, like, you, like, write another, like, a new second clause to what is an overall belief, or...? Um, you can rewrite it, um, if, you, yeah. like, when, cool, cool. when you can, like, if it is no... When you do you, it. Yeah, when you do it. Yeah. But, yeah, the, 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 the momentum trigger is you acted because of your belief, of your calling. Yeah, cool, cool. So it needs to be. So the reason that the what are they going to do about it there is that it needs to it needs to be something that can impel them to action. Yeah. A question about how subversive our callings should be. Ultimately, we're playing this game as a subversive act, and we are wanting yeah. to tear down these horrible things we've done. But our characters are people in this world. They've been in doc, They they've been affected by growing up in this world and they have to one degree or another uh, had to buy in i mean as as as, pro as a product of being in the world bought into it so is it inappropriate to have a calling that is not like i'm thinking of a calling like i want to become um, a citizen and a non-revolutionary yeah, calling that's totally well, legit I, I want to be a citizen is revolutionary in the notion that a foreign oh, yeah, it, could be a you could expand that category. at all right yeah, it means change the, the definition it, it means the definition of yeah. citizenship needs to grow but it's not it's not like i'm tearing down everything that was here it, yeah. it's not a grandiose at least you want to expand the status quo you don't yeah. want to disrupt the status quo. yeah that's right. the thing is that, i just wonder if that like fits in or if that's not kind of well no so 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 yeah it does fit in because by by establishing institutions we're establishing like a that's us establishing like a group kind of goal of like mm -hmm. what does it look like that uh, what is the tearing down that we want to do look like so this can be used to moderate or exacerbate your your um public troublemaking nature or not or yeah your revolutionariness um so yeah you can you, you can use this to kind of give yourself to an, like a little bit of a little bit of space there if you need to. Cool. Um, I would say I'm gonna. I want to keep thinking on it for a second. So uh -huh. if someone else has an idea, but I, now that I know that like that's the bar that you can set, I I want to making yeah. that space. Uh, I know what my goal is. Yeah. Um, my character wants to have their name added to the list of dead heroes. 
Wow, that's really interesting. That's cool. It's really sad. Yeah. Good job, it's Andrew. Not that, it's not that they want to be dead. It's just that they want to the be right. honored in the they same way right. as... Yeah. Right, they want to be commemorated and yeah, mm. celebrated. That's awesome. I love that. That's so... Like, like there's so much available nuance there. It's good. Mm. Cool. So I think I will write it as I will be commemorated uh, as my dead brothers in arms are. Cool. Yeah. It's good. What are you going to do about it? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask how. I, so this has to be like how. How do I get? I mean, no, I no. It doesn't. It doesn't have like what. Like I think you've you've said what you're going to do in in that. Like get yourself. On, yeah, actually, on, yeah. On the wall. Yeah, I think I will have. That. Yeah, my name yeah. added to the list. Yeah. I think that counts as both. Yeah, and I think I think my character's calling just you know to to really uh, kind of <laughs> like to go fully subversive on this. I think is to fracture the perfect half. Right. Yes. Yeah. Like yeah. It, like you just like your calling is 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 to really yeah like go after us. Attack the yeah. ideological foundation of the Republic. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Cool. All this right. character is good. I like them. Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna get the two of you, like, like, yeah. Luke and Anya are gonna get us in trouble. <laughs> yeah, we are the trouble half of this team. Yeah, yeah, I definitely, I definitely getting the sense of like um, those that are still really, really beholden to the society that's like stomping on them, and those that are like, fuck it, society sucks, and I don't really want to have anything to do with yeah, it. Yeah. I'm gonna burn it's, it down. I'm gonna change yeah, it's, it. it's, yeah, it's, it's like to, to be like to momentarily borrow the Republic's mode of thinking and be very reductionist. It's like the reforming half of the company and the like revolutionary mm -hmm. half of the company. Yeah. It's a good, it's a good divide mm -hmm. because I think it makes for a lot of fruitful discussion. About, yeah, exactly. Um, exactly. What, what the actual implications of each of those are and what the costs of them all those are. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to go with, sorry, I knew was that, um, is that, yeah. I don't want to cut off if you're still. No, she's, no she's... I think that is Ugh. that is as much as I have for that. It's a good amount. Yeah. So mine is is going to be to, I, and I feel like this this fit, fits both things. Then is is to gain citizenship in the Republic. Yep. Um, yep. And I think that that speaks much more that there's much more to it than that but well, uh, yeah um what i would like from you sean is um what is the belief because that, that's very clearly a do about it and i want to know what the like what the like belief what? segment of that set oh that yeah i want to be seen cool right like i mean yeah, yeah. I mean that's yeah. kind of a very simple approach. No, like, yeah, I, I think I think the important like so a belief for me in this in this situation is a statement about the world or about yourself, like a statement about about. Um, so like for instance, I deserve to be seen would be would be a belief. Um, yeah. It's just to, like burning. It's just like burning wheel, Sean. Right. A I, belief. I believe and this. Then the thing that you're going to do about it. Therefore, yeah. yes, yeah. Uh, I think that's perfect. I deserve to be seen. Um, yeah, I'll become and I will a citizen. Be and I will become, so I will become a citizen of the Republic. So I, so I will become a citizen of the Republic. Cool. Yeah. Great. Because, yeah, that, that, that helps me work out, like, the, the thing about that is, is, like, that gives me the end of, like, maybe I can question the deserve, right? Like, uh, and those elements. It, it, yep. it, it gives me that yeah. end. Yeah so, my, yeah, so my character's first belief is... Healing and comfort should be available for all with no judgment. I will teach healing to anyone who asks. Yes. Yeah. Cool. Excellent. My instinct is always keep a knife where no one can see it. <laughs> no, 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 no instincts. <laughs> no, you do not get that power in this game. <laughs> like, um, that is, that is not a thing. There is no, there is nothing that you always get to have. Which, yeah, is a very, like, um, telling statement. Yeah. Um, all right. So the next thing, so what's really interesting here is we've we've established this thing of this of like by having callings, we're we're seeing the ways in which the characters are divergent, 
Um, mm. So the next thing to do is bonds to work out how, like, what 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 ties them together. Um, yeah. What... Important question for writing my calling. Um, is there? Do we have a term for the second half um, of the boulder? Not the. Uh, Okay. The rubble, maybe? No. Oh, like, why? Would why would we need one? Right? Like, it's not. Uh, the it's not deserving of one. To, I, mean, I mean, I think to identify it, so you can kind of cast things into it, like, like it's. Yeah, I, I, feel I, like I would want to shorten. Right, like, I would want a word like, like, like we could just use the word basalt, right? Like the waste, like, or, or the waste, or something like. It's that. the waste, or the it's the waste, or the scrap. Yeah. I'm I'm fine with either. Yep. Cool. Excellent. Um, so, as far as bonds go, we've established, like, some commonalities as far as, like, history and things, but, um, the, uh, let's use... Yeah, who let's is to my left, Dash? So, You're gonna have to tell me. Alright, uh, Sean is to Luke's left, Anya is to Sean's left, Andrew is to Anya's left, and then Luke is to Andrew's left. Right. Okay. Is everyone okay with that? Does that... So I have a bond with Sean. Luke is to my left, so I have a bond with them. Is that what you're telling yep. me? Yep. yep. Okay. I make a bond with Andrew. Yep. And I make a bond with Kiers. Got it. Yep. yep. Nailed it. Uh, and also, let's talk about names. Let's talk about names. Yeah. Yes, that, that would be a good thing to have at this point. What are the, what are the naming conventions and traditions uh -huh. in the culture? Yes. Good I mean, I feel like, I feel like if we, like... Stay stick with a vaguely Mediterranean theme. Like I think that makes sense. Yeah, like, um, I like yeah. I think that Sean's character probably has a Persian -y name. Uh, yeah, I figured out what like country I what like analog country I'm yeah. from. So I'm gonna figure out a name from. But there. like, whether or not you want to be a, a like an a Drexos or a a Drexius, like that's up to you. I think. Um, there's, there's space in that. I, my character is super on the nose and their name is Pathos. Yes. <laughs> oh my no, gosh. I'm not actually. Andrew, I, you're my favorite. But it would be fun. It would be fun. It's a legit If it would name. be fun, then do it. <laughs> no, it'll be something adjacent though. Like, I like that kind of sound, like that kind of name. I feel like that's a very soldierly style of it does, Ooh, it does, do you want to like with the PA sound do you want to maybe also lean into like Pyrrhic Pira, like Pira and Pyrrhic and that like futility oh, like God. Yeah. association like Pyrrhos Pyrrhos yeah Pyrrhos is pretty good yep so P-I-O P-I-R-O-S Pyrrhos cool. nice. nice Pyrrhos is a man with no leg is an easy choice. I think I'm gonna go with uh, missing like an arm or something. Uh -huh. It's a lot harder. I mean, like that. Like the great thing about uh, about like having disability as part of your marginalization is that it it, it makes it easy for you to trigger it. Mm. It's very clear. Yeah. You can be like, I can't do this. I get like, give me, give me, give me momentum. <laughs> like. <Hey. laughs> Side note, on this Greek name generator that I took a look at, uh, one of the things that came up was Fedora Geek. <laughs> that's that's all the Greek heroes had names like that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sean, make some notes for the next uh, Aegon session. <laughs> yeah, Fedora Geek, that's my next character. Don't worry, I don't have to okay. know. Okay, talk to me a little bit more about a bond. What what do, Ash? How, so, how bond? yeah, like, a bond is, is like, kind of any connection that keeps you together that makes you want to like work together um support each other not not just let that person die uh yeah. andrew i have i have a thought i there's a clear one which is that you're helping to like heal yeah, give you medical care yeah, yeah. exactly yeah uh, what's your character's name luke uh carix c-a-r-i-x i am from fantasy analog goal Excellent. Yes. Good. Yep. So Carrick's is uh, yeah. helping. Is like helping rehabilitate me because I feel like like Pyrrhus lost an arm, 
and then also just like has a lot of injuries and other stuff he's like fairly recently returned um yeah i'm like helping you helping you manage your pain yeah he's still like very generally fucked up and wrecked so Uh cool and like he's not good at being one-armed yeah yeah he hasn't had it's not like he's someone who has had a lot of time to learn to like cope and manage with yeah. his disability he is freshly so and can't mm-hmm. like his pride won't let him ask for help get over it or ask for help or do all these like he's been told that he's not allowed to yeah um and generally gets shamed when he seeks help so he's still very uncomfortable with doing that sure all this kind of stuff and also just doesn't have any ways of like getting by and managing um without both of his arms yeah. he's still learning how to live that way yeah i feel like uh we haven't talked a lot about like pa- class and poverty and whatnot but i don't feel like any of our characters are in a um place to have like the luxuries that are that the republic affords either like i don't feel like any of us are yeah no one um, here is like the wife of a rich man right no i own a soup kitchen of course you do I think I can't help myself. This think, this is the part of my previous character that I'm like carrying. I'm carry, I wanted to keep that element because it also I think it, it worked nicely as like a like a way to give evident apparent structure to the beginning bit of the game. Mm, like yeah. It, I think, yeah, having it was a useful for you, so I'm giving yeah, you that. Definitely, I think, have a central location. I think Shadi might have been the wife of a rich man, actually. Right. I think, I think Shadi. Oh, oh, like in character. the old, in the in the old <sighs> republic, yeah. in the in the what was before. Yes. He, he has been. He was a leader. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm like going back and reading more about my character. But no, he no, was no, a leader no. of the old of the old society. He is now either dead or in jail. I'm not really sure which. But all of his assets have been taken. Mm, um, yeah. And for the good of all, he was for the good is of he, all. Is he doing penance? Like I mean, to because like the citizenry of the republic is more on is more or less like contiguous. So like he is doing penance to the citizenry to like recompense them for the crimes he committed on them. I like them that. As, we yeah. don't know whether like, he's, whether he's dead or like in prison. Like we don't know what happened to him. Yeah, yes. I don't think Shadi knows. He yeah. got dragged away. Yeah. Like he yeah. could be in the, he could be in the setting. But all but what she does know is that all of his assets were taken, mm-hmm. and yeah. she and she maybe in the old culture. She did have some rights to them, but she certainly doesn't now. Yeah, um, or even just like a portion of or something. But yeah, yeah, she might have had. It might have been half hers or something like that. But um, she and this kind of is grim. But I mean, I think she was a captive of a previous war and married a war general hero. Yeah, who we can figure out whether how consensual that was at some point. But, yeah, that's, um, that's from, for later. But she, but she came to. A life of some of some leisure after that, um, as a rich man's wife, and now does not at all. Yep. Cool. Uh, yeah. Neat. Do you have a and feeling I, I, about um, on his character? Yeah, cares. I'm. I. I mean, I think that. Um, uh, w- I feel like my bond would be related around the finding the basic things of necessities. Mm. Like, like, Ani, do you think that your character would be one to help let someone stay at their place or let someone, like, give someone... uh... I feel like it's possible that my character was, like, a servant in your old house. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Like, and, Ashley, are you watching this happen? <laughs> and and as the uh, like as the house was essentially just like torn apart. Yeah, so, right. Everything was disbanded. Yeah, like the revolution just snatched up little bits of it. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, mean, I that, love that. That's enough what for a bond. Th- that's enough for a bond. Yeah, because I, th- I was gonna say like, what do you think that makes our relationship? But I almost don't even want to ask no, because I want to find yeah, out and play. That's like there's so yeah. much there. Cool. Yes. So yeah, you were you were a previous servant in in my in our in in our household. Oof. Okay. Wow. Uh, what is your character's name? Peter? Um, Raisa. Raisa. Or Raisa. Yeah. R A I S S A. 
Cool. So it's R R A S S A. R A I S S A. R A I. And they and they were in Shadi's house. Cool. Nice. Yeah, the bond. I think that the best way to explain bonds is uh, are why can you just not uh, why can you not just walk away from this person? Mm. Right. So I should put that in the text of the game. I should do that. <laughs> Isn't playtesting wonderful? Yeah, oh, it's, it's very cool. helpful. Yeah. Nice. Sean, did you have a name? Yes, uh, my character's name is Shadi. S H A D I. Thank you. Yep. And, uh, she her. Yeah, okay. she is is she her. Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh Kita's? Or Risa? Is it uh they them, I think. Yeah, I just wanted to check because yeah. you were talking about like family leaning non binary and I knew that, that that meant there was some Yeah. Potential room there. <laughs> yeah. Um I don't really have any interest in like intentionally reproducing misgendering so yeah i think while i could see shoddy being misgendering your character i, I really don't want to like i don't want to play into that like yeah. maybe that happened in the past and maybe even like if it happens accidentally then so be it but like i don't like i, like I don't want to yeah. like we we get like a flashback in in like our our series of like a time just after the resolu revolution where um where like you're being sheltered by um by Reza, um mm -hmm. and like they're and they're the only thing that is like stopping you from being like caught up in all of this chaos and violence um and like you talk to someone and like use she her pronouns and like you visibly see uh, Racer like wince just a little and you like that's the first time it occurs to you that you're hurting this person mm -hmm. um, and then like that's the point at which you kind of like all right I'm gonna like re-examine that yeah well yeah. it's funny because I, I assume like in in my you know former job as a servant I was probably almost just not given pronouns yeah right you like, always refer to by name or whatever yeah mm. yeah I'm not even by name it was just servant because yeah. the yeah, individual right. identity was yeah. meaningless. Sure, yeah, you're yeah. just like you or your role that you're like scholarly yes. made or whatever. Yeah. Cool. Excellent. Um, Luke, are you having any feelings about Shadi? As far as like yeah, um, connections. I like the idea. Uh, I like I like the idea of like having like offered offered her like work or like a place to stay or like like mm. some kind of like support with which to then like have the foundation to start building a life as a non citizen. Uh, I think that sounds uh, yeah I think that that sounds great. Um, I almost feel like given the way we described the house like for a time and maybe even still shoddy was actually an outlaw like in the, not in the sense that she had committed a crime but she was outside of the law yeah. like there was no there was no place for her and so she didn't even know if like she was safe to go various places and i feel like at this point the dust has settled enough that now she doesn't worry mm -hmm. about just like go, going on the street although she could be questioned at the citizens forum even like, yeah exactly like it, yeah. It, it, it could be questioned but she doesn't feel like but i think after this time uh luke if it if it if it, if it makes sense, if you offered Shadi safe refuge for, like, while the, this chaos of the, the Republic was forming. Yeah, yeah, uh, you, like, lived in the attic, you lived in the attic of the, like, soup kitchen. Yeah, yeah. that would be a huge, uh, I mean, it, it, it would serve yeah, totally. as one, like, what are many basic needs, right? And be very important. Yeah, yeah and, like, it, I think, like, we can, we can talk about, like, whether you, like, like still live there and have a job there now or if like what we want what we want that relationship to look like in the present day but yeah i think i think that makes sense cool yeah and i'm really interested in this one uh the the bond between anya's character and andrew's character i'm not sure what it would be right like it's not there's i don't see an obvious one which is which is excellent yeah. um do you have any ideas andrew I'm trying to think about like ways that people meet, and there's like, where do we live? 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is there is there like a you know like shitty like favela or tenement or whatever that we both like live in? Yeah, like you need us. Because well, I imagine my character basically like haunting a neighborhood, like they're just this tortured soul uh, lingering on, like they. He thinks of himself as being like dead already. Yeah, that was um, uh, that was a that, that was a, a thought I had had. And so it would be, it would be appropriate for me to just kind of be like around in a really like uncomfortable, sketchy kind of way in wherever yeah. place you're living, and so you know me through that reason. And I and I don't know if your character would like take pity on me or whatever else, but like have some connection through that. Um, but then. Can you remind me what your character's belief was? Uh, my character's belief, I actually wrote it out so I can I can read it out. Um, the foundations of this republic are false. I will fracture the perfect path as it has fractured the rest. Yes. Nice. I mean, do you have like, some, like, like, do you actually, like, I'm seeing you, like, in the hero's field and, like, being grumpy at that memorial as well, like, or something like that? Oh, yeah. You just spend a lot of time in the city, just like looking at like memorials of like edifices of the Republic, and just shaking your head and being like, "Nah, it's no good." Well, what, <laughs> no. what if what if you were caught like graffitiing? That's that a great field? one. What if you oh, like, yeah. faced it and like it was only through um, Andrew Spencer was, like having. But it was Piros who caught, it was Piros who yeah. caught you. Yeah, yeah. Like, caught, and he, he turned you in. And didn't he you didn't in. turn you in. He was just like he was like no. Don't, don't do that. Face this, because it was like it was like the the wall with all the names. He was like, yeah. Pierce was I really like, want to. I actually really want to see that. Thing or this other thing, but not. I would the love names. to see that interaction once we start play as like a flashback. That would be really cool. Um, okay, cool. So we'll yeah. leave it open. But yeah, that like, I caught you defacing. Yeah, because a that's moment. a really good like yeah, a really good um, instigating moment. So that's yeah like that. Um, cool. So we have our bonds. So, um, we, I think we'll take a break, um, for five minutes and then we'll come back and we'll get to the, like, mechanical numbery bit. Yes. It's going to be fun. All right. So we'll be back in five minutes. 